Hello my dear friends I am Dr Teetu a finish word meaning knowledge and I'd like to be your friend philosopher and guide and welcome you back my dear student today we are going to learn again some basic aspect of molecular orbital theory and as you know we have already taken two class in molecular orbital and you have learned so far the pictorial representation of the molecular orbital and some other basic things like what is mean by the bonding molecular orbital anti bonding molecular orbital and also what are the basic condition for the formation of the molecular orbital and basically you have learned that in molecular orbital actually we look the molecule as a whole and the behavior of the electron is governed by the combined nuclear combined forces electrostatic forces exerted by the uh, different nuclei which are present in the molecule that means the individuality of the atom is lost in the molecule and in atomic orbital the behavior of the electron is governed by the atomic nuclei in molecular orbital this individuality is completely lost and an overall electrical field is uh, exerted by different nuclei and combined electrical field electrical field is uh, electrostatic or electrical field or forces combined forces is actually exerted by different molecules uh, different uh, nuclei and this combined field the whole i can speak this whole uh, force actually determine the behavior of the electrons present in the molecule so in molecule you can assume as if the whole molecule is atom and different atomic nuclei will combine themselves as if they generate one nuclei and that nuclei will determine the energy and other different properties of the electrons and in this way just like atomic orbital here also um, electronic configuration of electronic configuration of the uh, uh, molecule is possible just like atom in an atomic orbital let's we learn something new today and uh, today we will basically learn how to draw the relative energy level diagram some diatomic species relative energy level diagram means the molecular energy level diagrams for some simple diatomic species and you know as i have mentioned earlier that the relative energy level diagrams are more important uh, for your exam because because from the relative energy level diagram we can predict something that whether the molecule will exist or not the bond order and whether the molecule is diamagnetic or paramagnetic etc and during your uh, our uh, tutorial class uh, i mean during discussion of uh, question and answers we will discuss all these things now today our target is to learn is to draw the molecular orbital uh, uh, mol uh, the relative energy level diagram of the some diatomic simple diatomic species like hydrogen uh, helium i mean uh, lithium beryllium and up to nitrogen this is our target today and let's first uh, begin with hydrogen okay and i am clearing the canvas so our first target is to draw the relative energy level diagram of the molecular orbital for the hydrogen atom so first what we'll do we'll just write down the electronic configuration of the hydrogen atom what is that that is 1s1 that is 21s orbital will combine among themselves to generate a h2 molecule so again uh, another hydrogen atom that will have electronic configuration 1s1 and these two will generate to give a hydrogen molecule and our target is to draw the molecular orbital of the hydrogen atom and then write down the electronic configuration of the molecule as a whole not the atom but the molecule is to molecule as a whole okay so let uh, begin our journey so uh, how that will look like so here you should write one hydrogen atom here you should write one hydrogen atom that will have electronic configuration 1s 1 1s1 i mean one electron will be in this molecular orbital in this atomic orbital one is atomic orbital and one electron will be there in another atomic orbital of another hydrogen atom and these two will combine to generate so two atomic orbital 
as I have mentioned or, uh, earlier that uh, number of the molecular orbital will be same as the number of the participating atomic orbital here number of the participating atomic orbitals are 2 from the 2 hydrogen, two hydrogen atoms. So, the molecular orbital will also be 2 one will be the bonding molecular orbital another will be the antibonding molecular orbital. So, this is this is antibonding and uh, in the lower level it is bonding. So, we will designate this bonding since it is sigma bond. So, 2 1 s orbital will obviously give rise to sigma bond sigma molecular orbital and it should be designated as sigma 1 s in subscript there will be 1 s and he this should be designated as sigma star 1 s and so this is the relative energy level diagram for the molecular orbital of the hydrogen molecule. So, how many number of the electrons of the hydrogen molecules are there? It is 2. It is 2. So, this 2 uh, electrons, this 2 sigma, this 2 uh, the hydrogen molecule altogether has 2 electrons and as we know uh, one um, just like atomic orbital one molecular orbital can also accommodate 2 electrons. So, these 2 electrons will reside in this particular lower energy bonding uh, molecular orbital that is sigma 1 s orbital. So, the electronic configuration of the hydrogen molecule will be sigma will be uh, sorry sigma 1 s 2 sigma 1 s 2 but sigma star will do not have any electrons so it will have 0 electrons. So, this is the electronic configuration for the hydrogen molecules. So, as I have to, uh, told earlier that is the uh, electronic configuration of the hydrogen molecule is uh, again I am writing that is only 2 electrons are there and they will be put in the sigma 1 s molecular orbital. So, electronic configuration of hydrogen molecule is sigma 1 s 2. So, no electron will be there in the sigma star orbital. So, uh, in our earlier classes uh, we have discussed uh, what are the definition of the bond, uh, bond order and you can remember that that is bond order equal to the half of the electrons half uh, number of the electrons present in the bonding molecular orbitals minus number number of the electrons present in the antibonding molecular orbitals. So, in case of hydrogen molecules, so two uh, 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 electrons are there and they all electrons are in bonding molecular orbitals. So, what will be the bond order? So, bond order bond order will be equal to half of number of electron in bonding molecular orbital that is 2 minus no electrons are there in the antibonding molecular orbital. So, minus 0. So, that will be equal to ultimately half of into 2 equal to 1. So, bond order e equal to 1 that means in hydrogen molecules a single bond single bond is present and thus the structure is like this single bond is present and since the bond order is greater than 1 greater than 0 if the bond order be greater than 0 the molecule will exist. So, hydrogen molecule will exist. Okay. So, we actually got this information from the uh, relative energy level diagram of the molecular orbitals of the hydrogen molecules. So, let uh, continue our journey next we uh, consider let clear this one. Okay. Let consider another molecule next it is helium. So, in case of helium let consider the diatomic H E 2 species our target will be to examine whether this particular species will exist or not from the discussion of the uh, molecular orbital theory. Okay. So, in case of uh, helium uh, atom atom just like hydrogen atom uh, helium atom uh, you write down two helium atom here here is one here is another helium atom and electronic configuration of helium atom is 1 s 2. So, only 1 s orbital is present here and 2 electrons are there in 
1 s orbitals of course two electrons will be paired so this is one s orbital this is again another one s orbital another one s orbital and two electron will remain present also in here so let just draw since two atomic orbitals are involved so again two molecular orbital will be formed here is one and here is another okay okay so you can join like this in this way okay so height is equal okay uh, it has not perfectly drawn but from the midpoint the height will be same and this is again bonding molecular orbital and this is anti-bonding molecular orbital and just like hydrogen it should be designated as sigma star 1s and bonding will be sigma 1s so four altogether in helium molecules there occurs four electrons uh, two electrons from each atom so four electron if you put four electrons so two electrons will be there in the lower molecular orbital and next two electron of course you will have to put in the higher antibonding molecular orbitals so in case of helium what will be the bond order bond order will be equal to half of the number of electrons in the bonding molecular orbitals that is in sigma 1s orbital that is equal to 2 minus number of the electrons in the antibonding mo molecular orbital that is in the sigma star molecular orbital and its number is 2 again so what will be the bond order it is half of 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 so into 0 will be ultimately equal to 0 so bond order equal to 0 since bond order equal to 0 so no bond is present between two helium atom in h2 molecule in hypothetical he2 he2 molecule so formation of he2 is not possible according to molecular orbital theory it is not possible according to the molecular orbital theory but let you can see, uh, consider another case say you have uh, say one electron has uh, has been uh, expelled from here one electron has has been snatched from this uh, sigma star 1s orbital or uh, you may consider that one electron uh, has actually uh, gone out from this particular system so if one electron go out from the from the system of course it will go out from the higher energy uh, antibonding orbital of course so one electron will go out from the antibonding molecular orbitals if one electron be less from the neutral he2 species if one electron be less if elect one electron go out from the system so the feces will be generated if there occurs uh, such condition that one electron has gone from the system so uh, the species that will be generated that will of course acquire unipositive charge it will gain a unipositive charge and let's consider whether this particular species will exist or not that is he2 unipositive having unipositive charge so uh, what will be its electronic configuration its electronic configuration will be sigma 1s 2 2 electron of course will be there in the bonding molecular orbital but one electron will go out from the antibonding higher energy antibonding molecular orbital okay so its electronic configuration will be sigma 1s 2 sigma star uh, 1s 1 so in antibonding molecular orbital so this is actually the electronic configuration of he2 species so number of the electron in the antibonding molecular orbital is one uh, thus what will be the bond order bond order will be equal to half of number of the electron in the bonding molecular orbital that is two minus number of the electron in the antibonding molecular orbital that is equal to one so 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so half means 0.5 so bond order now is greater than 0 that indicates 
that this species, this particular species should have uh, its existence and actually in uh, so we expect that the species will exist but actually this species has been detected in uh, uh, this particular species has been detected uh, in some special uh, conditions okay so let's continue our journey let next molecule is uh, lithium okay next just clear the canvas next our uh, uh, target is the lithium molecule okay so my dear student who are uh, listening uh, uh, this lecture i am telling again and again that if you find any problem you should write in the comment box i will try to answer uh, in any video or directly in the comment box so,